Hello and welcome to YouTube video for this 1997 Holiday Rambler Endeavor LE. This is a older Class A motorhome, but in really good shape. What I meant to say older, back in the days, Holiday Rambler made really good aluminum roof, aluminum siding, a quality motorhomes. We have no cracks on the windshields. They look in really good shape. The fiberglass front has been changed with the metal. Tires are, I'm not going to tell you, they're Michelin tires, but they are showing some weather checking. It could be anywhere from $1,200 to uh, uh, two or $3,000, depending on the brand you would choose. Tires are okay. They got lots of trade, but they do show some weather damage. Speaking of weather damage, some of the paint looks good. Some of the decals are cracked up. That's typical for a 20-year-old motorhome. Windows are not foggy, as you can see. Got a nice slide out topper. It's not made out of vinyl. It, it is a cloth material. That's, uh, that's a nice feature. Cherry, cherry riveted aluminum exterior. Lots of underbelly storage. We've got a 7,000 watts generator, I believe. Look at the way the door shuts. I mean, it's a quality coach. I believe right here is a generator. Indeed, 7,000 watts generator. Got about 952 hours. I think we're up below quarter tank, so I'm not going to attempt to crank it. Those who had motorhomes in the past would know when they're quarter tank, the generator do not run. Tag axle coach, it'll grab the road better and run really nice. Aluminum again, exterior, wash bay, sewer connection, water connection, all that, 50 amp power cord. That is a big feature. Some of these older motorhomes had only 30 amp. This one's got a 50 amp, so you can run both of your air conditioners. Come around here. We're going to go up top and show you the roof real quick. Top of the roof, this is a metal roof. So it's not a fiberglass, it's not aluminum. I mean, it's not a rubber or fiberglass, it's aluminum. We do have the uh, a brand new refrigerator vent cover. We'll change that, not a big deal, but look, look, take a look at it in really good shape. I don't know if you can hear in the video or not, both roof air conditions are running, water's running out of it. That's, that, that, that's a good sign that they work. Look at the front cap, no water leaks underneath. So roof is in really good shape. It's a metal roof, not fiberglass or rubber, or more durable than other material. All right, we'll go back down and continue our video. All right, we're back from the top. Got a little discoloration, look like a clear coat or something. I go in detail in this video, show you bad and good stuff. All right, that's the bicycle rack. Two new six volt batteries, they're coach batteries, we just put them on. By the way, it also has a brand new chassis battery. Got 10 gallons hot water heater, not a six gallon. So this is the LE, so Endeavor LE, that means it's one above regular Endeavor. Cherry riveted exterior, cloth material awning, not a vinyl again. That's, that's a nice thing, nice feature because the vinyl retains water and, and keeps smell in it. Spare tire, LP tank. And if you notice, all of these compartment doors are staying up on their own, so all these air struts are in really good shape. By the way, these compartments are passed through from top. They go all the way top. So I would call it complete pass through. Step, the motor is messed up. We could get it fixed, so we're going to try to sell it like it is. We'll have RV tech is way behind, so you may have to wait a week or two but the steps are messed up. We can manually put it back in. Uh, now you'd love this. We put a laminated hardwood floors. Let's step in this coach. Shut the door behind you. So we have a, put a laminated floor in the living room area. It's still got original tiling, ceramic in the kitchen with the ceramic. Uh, Korean countertops. This couch opens up. It's a magic bed. It'll open up. Really nice firm bed. Uh, 
A little bit of fog I see in this double uh, dual pan win window. Has a better R value when you have a double pan window windows. All right, we got a flax steel power seats. In good shape. Let's step in here. Show you, he's got 46,000 miles. Fires right up. And I don't know if you could tell, but we've got two sets of keys. Vizio TV. Couldn't find the remote control, probably somewhere in the coach. It was a trading unit, by the way. This is not a repossessed unit. Repossessed unit means more trouble. If people cannot make payments, they cannot take care of the motorhome. This is a trading unit. People bought another motorhome, so they were happy customers. All right, listen to this engine. No exhaust manifold leak. It's 460 Ford V8 or 454, those older V8. They've had problems. I uh, got backup monitor, works. Uh, Four-speed automatic. Cruise control. CD player. All right, the, you saw the windshields are free from any cracks or chips. This privacy curtain looks really good. That's another sign of a previous owner took care of this motorhome. No condensation stains that you see. Maybe I see a little bit here, but overall looks really nice. Nice wood quality that you would expect from Monaco and Holiday Rambler. Nice vinyl ceiling, no droopy anywhere. It's not dropping down anywhere. No water leaks, no mildew smell, no pad odor. And most importantly, there is no cigarette odor in this motorhome I can smell. No smoking odor. Dual ceramic sinks. Three burner gas stove. Traditional oven. Lots of drawers, lots of cabinetry here, and they're pretty deep. Double door refrigerator with an ice maker, and here we go. I just turned them on last night and it makes it making ice. How about that? Probably go turn it off because we're going to move the coach out of here. Water is cold, so this is a good big part. Uh, thermostat controls both your roof air conditioners on top. By the way, before I forget it, right here, all the books and records are located in this compartment. Owner's manuals and all the stuff. Center part of the coach, we have a more ceramic tiling, a uh, sliding coat closet. Some drawers here. Toilet area, sink. Some medicine cabinets up here. Glass enclosed shower. Take a look at it. No stains, very clean because it has a metal roof on top. Some more cabinets here. It does have a washer dryer hookups, I believe. Indeed, it does. Hot, cold, and the, the drain. So it does have it and a power. So if you'd like to put a washer dryer combo, you can put it here. It does not have one. Back in the bedroom, we left the original carpet alone. Take a look at all this. No water leaks, no swollen up walls or the nightstands. They look good. I've seen some of them, they swell up because had water leaks from the walls and stuff. This is not a perfect coach. Anyhow you cut it, it's a 1997. It's almost 20 year old. It does have a few flaws and we'll let you have that for free. They'll come with it automatically. Like this switch is bad. I can see it. It's $5 switch. You got to change that. Uh, let's see. Window back here. Should be some storage under the bed. Let's lift it up. Yes, it does have some storage. A couple of pillows down there. Lots of storage. And that's the refrigerator vent cover I was talking about. We'll install that. This concludes our video on this 1997 Holiday Rambler Endeavor LE with the nice hardwood floors, 7,000 watts generator. By the way, I forgot to mention it does have HWH leveling jacks, and they do work. Got four leveling jacks that levels the coach, two roof air conditioners, 50 amp power refrigerator. Um, steps don't work. A couple of stuff here and there, but. Uh, we're going to let it go like it is, and then there's the tires. They're dry right at all. We can entertain in the tires. Thank you so much for watching my video, and text me, 864-404-0054. If you don't know how to text, then leave me a message. I'll get back to you. But the number again is 864-404-0054.
0054. Thank you. Have a great day.